What you guys got another video here for you. Will you upgrade to Windows 11 on October 5th? That is when it's going to be released to the general public. Now, whether you love or hate Windows or Windows 11, uh, it's a really good operating system. It's probably one of the best that they've created so far. And should you upgrade to Windows 11 right away? Now, I've been using Windows 11 since they released it in the Insider program. And people were saying, are you mad for installing Windows 11 right away? Now, at the very beginning, Windows 11 had some minor little niggles. But once they were ironed out, uh, the operating system itself is pretty stable. Now, I'm on the beta version, and um, that's the version I'm running on my system here. So when will you be able to update or upgrade to Windows 11 for free? So it is a free upgrade for Windows 10 users, but there is some uh, caveats. You need to make sure that your system is eligible for the free upgrade. And I'll quickly flash these up on the screen so you can see them. So you can see here, the processor is a real big uh, issue here for a lot of people. There is a requirement that you have to have a, a processor that's on their compatible list. And you can check those compatible lists. I will leave the links in the video description. I've already covered that in previous videos, so I'm not going to go over that too much. Uh, the RAM thing here is four gigabytes. You would definitely need more than that to run Windows. Coming down to the next requirement, which is one of their big ones, which is the TPM, which is your trusted platform module version 2.0. That needs to be enabled and you need to have all this running. Also, you can see here UEFI and Secure Boot compatible as well. So if your system doesn't have any of these, then you're not going to be able to run Windows 11. Now, there is talks of a workaround and Microsoft know about this workaround and they're not going to block it. But as I've said previously, and I want to uh, clarify that if you do use the workaround to install this on a system that is not on their compatible list, i.e. on their CPU compatible list, then you will not receive security updates from Microsoft. And that's basically the list of Intel processors here. If it's not on this list, you will not receive security updates if you use the bypass. And then there is also the AMD processors. There's a big, massive list of them. I'll leave the links in the video description. And you could just click on this link here and it will take you straight to there, okay? And you can check it out. There's also PC Health Check app. You need to run this and it needs to make sure that your system is compatible and you can download this app. And basically you would run this and it will do a check on your system. Let me just do a quick check to show you. So you can see here, so you can run a quick check here, check now, and you can see the PC meets the system requirements for Windows 11. And you can also click on show all results. And if you should see all the green ticks here, if you don't, and there's red crosses, then you need to make sure that you've enabled these features before you can install Windows 11. And also, if you don't have these compatible areas for your system and you use the bypass method, then you won't receive updates uh, for security patches and stuff like that. So that is that out of the way. So when will this be rolled out to the general public? As you can see here on Windows uh, Experience blog, which is the Microsoft blog, you can uh, read up on this information here. I'll leave the link in the video description. It is a free upgrade to Windows 11 that starts on October 5th and it will be uh, phased and measured uh, with focused of quality. If you've got a brand new computer, the newer the hardware, the quicker that you would get the free upgrade to uh, Windows 11. And it's gonna go through a bunch of different requirements that they've taken into account. So the upgrade will be rolled out over time to the in-market devices based on the intelligence models that consider hardware eligibility, reliability metrics, and age of the device and other factors that impact the upgrade experience. So Microsoft expect all eligible devices to be offered the free upgrade to Windows 11 by mid 2022. So looking at that information, it looks like they're gonna be targeting newer systems first and then older ones second. At the end of the day, no one really knows. It's just gonna be uh, Microsoft that's gonna be doing all of those um, procedures here. So you just have to wait until it gets rolled out to you if you want to upgrade 
to Windows 11 right away. So should you upgrade to Windows 11 or should you stay with Windows 10? Remember, if your system doesn't meet the requirements Microsoft planned to support Windows 10 up until October 14th, 2025, and it will probably end up extending that as they always do. So it's a long way away. So if you're not compatible for Windows 11, you can still use Windows 10 and it's still going to receive all of the security updates and feature updates uh, for that operating system. So there's no rush. So I guess the $64 million question is, should you update to Windows 11 straight away or should you stay with Windows 10? Now, my normal approach to Windows updates is hold off a little while and I still stand true to that today. The reason why I upgraded to Windows 11 and joined the Windows Insider program is because I needed to be relevant and make new content for you guys. So I installed the update to Windows 11. Now you have to remember I've got a number of different machines that I can use and some of them have got Windows 10. So if I didn't like it, I can always roll back or use Windows 10 and have a stable system. So there's no real risk for me. Now, when it comes to giving you my honest opinion about something, I have to use it to give you that opinion. So I'm using this on a real working machine that I use every day so I can get a true representation of how good this operating system is. And I can safely say that it's been a pleasure to use. I've had no real issues with Windows 11. When it first came out, there's a few little niggles, as you'd expect. But as they released the beta channel, I seem to have no more problems and I'm in the beta channel right now. Now that doesn't mean that in future updates it's not going to get broken because Microsoft have been known to break their operating systems every time they release an update. So I can safely say that's not been the case with Windows 11. Now because I'm on the insider program uh, for their Windows 11 operating system, I need to check for Windows updates on a regular basis and that's because I need to make sure that I'm getting all of the fixes because there's going to be known bugs and problems because it's a new operating system. And that is the downfall uh, of being on the Windows Insider program. Hopefully on the major release, when they release it on October 5th, all of these problems will be ironed out and we will have a much more stable operating system. That is my hope anyway. And I'm hoping that it doesn't have the start that Windows 10 had where we was just completely... Uh, bombarded with problem after problem albeit it will be great for the channel because it will be loads more fix it videos for you guys so if you get that option to upgrade to windows 11 from windows 10 i would say grab the ball by the horns and upgrade straight away i think microsoft have learned the hard way with windows 10 and hopefully they've learned a lot of lessons from windows 10 that they're not going to replicate on windows 11 and hopefully we'll have a much more better experience with windows 11 going forward you're going to have to have a pretty new computer anyway to upgrade to windows 11 so i don't see there being any issues on that front so if you're a bit dubious about installing or upgrading to windows 11 then don't be take opinions from people that have tried it and used it since the beginning and that's people like me and there's plenty of other people out there that have done it and i can honestly say that you're going to see a lot of confusion on the internet. And normally this is coming from people that use other operating systems that just love to hate on uh, Microsoft or Bill Gates or whatever it is uh, for no good reason. Or maybe the fact it is that they've jumped ship to Linux and then they just love to, uh, you know, hate on Windows by leaving nasty comments in a comment section. Personally, I don't have time for that negativity. And I just think you should just install the operating system you want to use, whether it be Mac OS, Linux, Android, Windows, whatever it is, and just enjoy your experience with that operating system and don't worry about what uh, anyone else is doing. So I've had Windows 11 on a bunch of different computers and they've all been running pretty flawlessly. So if the option's available to you there early and you've got a pretty new computer, then why not upgrade to Windows 11? If you've got a PC that's not compatible with Windows 11, then I wouldn't bother installing it on a system because you're not going to get security updates according to Microsoft, and that can cause you problems later on down the line. 
Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.